jump back and forth between the various ones. Um, there's a, sheet, a screen share going on. Uh, this is the Burlington city ballot from 2006, the mayor's race, which was the first election in Burlington using the ranked choice voting ballot. Uh, you can see the candidates listed on the left, and then there's a, a, um, an opportunity to rank candidates by, there's instructions above it. Also, there, at the uh, polling place, we had visual explanations. Basically, people would uh, put a, a fill in the oval for their first choice in line with their favorite candidate, and then they could indicate if they wished a second choice, third choice, and so on. Terry, um, not Terry is an example of that solidarity. Um, and just because I'm an elected official doesn't mean um, I'm going to renounce um, my solidarity with social movements, um, which also come, which often come from a place of disenfranchised power um, and looking to address um, address those those issues. Um, sorry, this uh, there were many. And upgraded them. I I will call for demilitarizing the police. I um, I think the federal government sending all kinds of uh, military equipment to the police is something we don't need. And I would call for diversifying the police budget so that when we so that there's part of the budget would go to more like social workers and other people who could handle people with mental mental um, illness problems and things like that where there's been some really violent response from the police because they don't know. This is not a situation they know how to handle. I think the police need to be trained better. What I think is really important is that recognizing first and foremost, we have a lot of common ground in Burlington right now. I don't know that I've heard from anyone who does not agree with reform or accountability or racial justice. Uh, the, Burlington's unique in that sense. We don't face the same struggles that so many other cities are right now. And here we are divided and, and it kind of, <laughs> It's confounding to me in a way that we could be so divided right now when we're all, we all have such common ground. So I suppose the devil was in the this through the end of January. Showing residential sales in green, uh, commercial sales in purple, and then the total system energy in gold. Um, so kind of, I think the last report you got on this was perhaps the September figures. So you can kind of see where we've been through the fall and January. Um, residential still above normal, commercial still below normal, um, and then the total system also still below normal, um, but kind of bouncing around in the two to three percent range through the winter so far. Um, Let's talk more about vaccinations. As of this week, 13.3 percent of residents in Chittenden County have now received at least their first dose of the the vaccine really encouraging number up another um, i think when we talked last week it was right around 10 11 percent so that continues as we expect uh, every week to, to creep higher um, we are that, that is a high number relative to the state and relative to the nation that flows from the fact that we have both a lot of um, healthcare workers and, and staff uh, of, of long-term care facilities here in Chittenden County, as well as many residents of long-term care facilities. Um, those, that the disproportionate numbers of those individuals being here in Chittenden County has, has driven up our overall average.